Total pressure and partial pressures. A 1.00 liter mixture of helium, neon, and argon has a total pressure of 662 millimeters mercury at 298K. If the partial pressure of helium is 341 millimeters of mercury and the partial pressure of neon is 112 millimeters of mercury, what mass of argon is present in the mixture? Our given information is that we have a partial pressure of helium that is equal to 300 41 millimeters of mercury. We have a partial pressure of neon that is 112 millimeters of mercury. And we have a total pressure of 662 millimeters of mercury. We have a volume of one liter. 1.00 liter and we have a temperature that is 298K. Find the mass of argon present in the mixture. In a conceptual plan, we'll see that there are effectively three steps to this calculation. In the first step, we will take the partial pressure of helium and the partial pressure of neon and the total pressure and apply Dalton's law to give us the partial pressure of argon. Knowing the partial pressure of argon, we can then employ the ideal gas law. So we'll take the partial pressure of argon along with the volume and the temperature. And from that we can calculate the number of moles of argon. And then finally, we can take the number of moles of argon and find the, the mass in grams of argon. And this will employ three relationships, A, B, and C.
Let's list those. Relationship A is Dalton's law, which says that the total pressure is a sum of the partial pressures. So the total pressure equals the pressure of the helium plus the partial pressure of the neon plus the partial pressure of the argon. The second relationship, B, is the idle gas law. And that's just PV equals nRT. And our third relationship is the molar mass of argon. And the molar mass of argon we find on the periodic table as 39.95 grams per mole. So now we're ready to, to solve. First step is to use Dalton's law of partial pressures to determine the partial pressure of the argon. So we'll solve this, we'll solve the law for the partial pressure of argon. Partial pressure of argon is equal to the total pressure minus the partial pressure of the other two gases. So minus the partial pressure of helium and minus the partial pressure of neon. So this is equal to 662 millimeters of mercury minus 300 and 41 millimeters of mercury minus 112 millimeters of mercury. So the partial pressure of argon is equal to 200 and nine millimeters of mercury. But we remember that in order to use the idle gas law, we must convert this to atmospheres. So we know that one atmosphere is the equivalent of 760 millimeters of mercury. So the millimeters of mercury cancel and we have our partial pressure of argon in atmospheres. 0 0.275 atmospheres. We'll now s solve the ideal gas law for the number of moles of 
argon. So N is equal to PV over RT and the partial pressure of argon is 0 0.275 atmospheres. The volume is 1.00 liter. The gas law constant R is 0 0.08206 liters times atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And our temperature is 298K. So our liters cancel, the Kelvins cancel, the atmospheres cancel, and this gives us our moles of argon, which is one point one two five times ten to the minus two moles of argon. Now our data restrict us to three significant digits, so we will underscore the two to remind us. We will now use the molar mass of argon to convert this to grams. Take our 1.125 times 10 to the minus 2 mole of argon. And we have 39.95 grams of argon per mole of argon. And this gives us 0 0.449 grams of argon in the mixture. To check ourselves, we first of all verify that the units are correct. We're looking for an answer in grams. And the magnitude is about correct too. Because the volume is one liter and one liter under STP conditions is about one twenty second of a mole and the partial pressure of the argon in the mixture is about one-third the total pressure. So we have approximately 166 the molar mass of argon, which is fairly close to our calculated number of grams of argon.